Hi, this is Patrick and Debra with Two Peas in a Condo. This is Arden, our third P, fourth on the way. We received the Garden 3.0 from Garden. We're really excited because we have the original. Yep. There's a couple improvements. First, they said ease of assembly, which I'm excited for because the lighting columns were kind of difficult to install last time. That should be better. And also, the packaging is 100% recycled uh, and comes in fewer boxes. So One box. Friendly. Which One is box. great. Yeah, so we're super excited. We use the original all the time. Um, today we're going to try this in a few shots as a family, so Arden's going to join us for it. Alright, so we unpacked the parts and we'll show them to you in a couple different sections. So first of course you have your owner's manual and your care guide. Your care guide is going to talk you through planting and maintenance and your owner's manual is going to talk you through uh, parts and setup. So we'll look at the care guide later, but here in this um, shot we have our three columns. This is where your plants are going to grow. And um, some differences in the 3.0 are that um, these come apart much more easily. So it's going to be uh, much more easy for uh, care and maintenance cleaning. You also have your light bars. See the little cameras on the light bars. You have your water tank here. And this is your base or lid. Another um, new upgrade for the 3.0 is that this is in a new darker rubber wood finish. Gorgeous. Here we have some of our smaller parts. So first you have your actual plants. These are called Y cubes and the plant uh, seed is already in the little cup ready for planting. We have our plant food. We have our Y pods. This is where you're going to put the plant. And this is just a few of them. There are 30 for this unit. And then we have a bag that's full of some smaller accessories that we'll talk through as we use them. We have our upper blades, which are gonna stabilize the unit. And then we have, of course, our power cord. Step one is going to be to assemble the columns. It's gonna be easiest for you for the rest of the setup. You go ahead and line them up in, in a row and identify the center column. It's gonna have the safety strap on the back here. I've already done the first two, but basically all you're going to do is align the arrows, insert and twist, and you're ready to go. All right, next we're going to mount and lock the lid. So you'll know the back of the base because it's gonna have this large opening where the power button is going to go. And you'll know the front of the lid because the light arms will be coming up from the front. On either side of the uh, top, there are two locks. Make sure those are open. Go ahead, insert your lid on the top, then lock in, and then you're going to ins uh, lower your pump. So you open the top of the lid here, pull up this pump, and you're going to then turn it and move it toward the back where this narrow place is, and lower it in. This should keep the pump from going in all the way in this no more narrow space here. Our next step is going to be to connect the columns. So you're going to start with the center column. Remember that's the one that has the safety strap on top. You're going to pull out the hose and plug it in on the inside of the tube here. Then you're going to line up the arrows and twist. Now you're going to want to make sure that all of the open spaces are front facing forward and then you'll do the other two. Next we're going to attach our LED light bars. After you unpack them, you'll want to identify the right and the left. Now they are labeled and so are the arms here, but in case you need any help, the right bar has the light at the top and the left bar has it further down. So then you're going to take you, the base of the bar and line it up the top of the arm and then you're just going to press until it snaps into place. Now I will say this is so much easier in 3.0. The original, um, you had to insert screws here and I had a really hard time with it personally. So this is a huge improvement. Now we're going to insert the metal rod on the back. So you see this at the back of the unit. It has a security strap back. The little dip in the rod is going to be facing down. And it goes right into the center and then around the holes on the outer two here. Then you're going to insert your metal plate right into the center. Now these smaller pieces are going to be found in your small accessory bag. And then you're going to insert the plug, little rubber plug, into the center to hold that into place. 
Next, we're going to mount our upper blades. They're gonna go across the top here. The first thing we're going to do is insert our protective cap on the end. Again, these are in your accessory bag. Then this end is going to go to the front. My lovely assistant will help me there you go. line that up. <laughs> You're just going to insert it into the top of the light there and push the cap down. A smooth fit. Then you're going to insert the back here. Make sure it's going over your metal rod. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then you're going to put your little rubber plug in to secure it. We'll do the other side. So here we are all set up before planting with the lights on. Patrick and Arden will walk us through planting. Um, for reference, I'm about 5'1". It's a good size unit. We've done a lot of this so far. It's so easy. If you want to show up here, we'll take one out and show it. You're going to take the wide pod and put it in. Yeah, you got to get lined up into the wide cube. Or the wide cube in the wide pod. Very easy to do and then it just pops in this tube right here. Uh, the one thing to note is that you're not adding plant food at this point. Um, you're not going to add plant food until you see them a little bit beyond sprouts. Um, so that's, that's important. Don't add plant food yet. But otherwise, you're going to want to make sure you have it in a place you want it before you add the water. A lot of water makes it very heavy. So um, another good thing about the garden is that it can grow a lot of plants in a small amount of space, about two feet of space. So Arden, that's it. That's been uh, the Garden 3.0. If you want to buy it, we have an affiliate link with a discount where you can get some money off if you get it yourself. See everybody, this has been Patrick, Arden, and Devry from Two Peas in a Condo. See you next time.